welcome to our our last new moon of the year how sacred and magical is that and um it's a new moon in sagittarius and um i have to say i'm really really grateful <laughs> to say that mercury has gone direct yes yes so grateful and of course, we're like moving in here to the winter solstice. So such a sacred, sacred, special time. Hi, Karen, love. Lovely to see you. Maya, hi, loves. Okay, so we'll get started with a meditation. And um, then we will do a chant. And then I'll make a suggestion for... Um, for a beautiful ritual for you to do afterwards. So I'm so honored to be here, so happy to be here. Um, and such a sacred, sacred time. And just before we move into this meditation here together, I just wanted to say, um, I don't know if anybody else has felt this, but I, with this shift with the Mercury retrograde, moving out of that, but there's always like an after phase to it. And sometimes I find that the pre and the post like a week or so beforehand and a week or so after can be the most like intense to be mindful of communication things with people. But a lot of the time, if things come up with people communication wise, it's usually something that needs to come up in order to be healed. So I don't know if anybody's been experiencing that. Um, and then of course, new moons, I, I think that they, you know, the moon is all about, um, our emotions and uh, the water and water brings tears. And so, you know, if you feel emotional around full moons and new moons, it's, it's beautiful, it's divine. And it's really just showing the harmony of your body, your physical, your emotional connection to the cosmos and the moon, and which is so vital. And it's not something we want to shut down or, you know, quieten or, or punish ourselves. It's something we really want to honor. And usually things that come up are, it's like things are magnified. So if anything's been magnified within these last day or so, like, don't ignore it, like honor it, journal about it. Um, allow that light to shine even though we're at the dark phase of the new moon so with that beloved I'm going to invite you to gently close your eyes take a big deep inhale and exhale and just allow yourself to go inwards the new moon is the dark time of the year and we're heading towards the winter solstice which is definitely the darker time of the year shorter days and longer nights when we're being asked to start to hibernate, to slow down, to reflect. And it's interesting because that holiday season tries to have everybody in busy mode, shopping, preparing. And, and really, it's a time to actually go inwards. And actually, the more that we give space for that, we're more productive anyway with the, you know, the things that we have to do. So with that, I'm going to invite you to just close your eyes and drop into this present moment. And if you chose to be here in this moment, it's because you're meant to on a soul level. And that unity consciousness of us all being together is so, so powerful. So just giving your beautiful self this time to go inwards, to close your eyes, and just let go, let go of any concerns, any worries, anything you, you feel like you've got in your plate that life has thrown your way. Even if it's good stress, it's still stress. So just sending these beautiful messages to your physical, emotional, mental body. So together, let's take some beautiful deep inhales. Inhaling your breath, drawing your breath all the way up to the crown of your head and then holding your breath, holding and whenever you're ready, Ah, with a big sigh, just let go. And when we let go with that breath, we just let our whole body, soul, aura, and everybody know just to drop everything into this moment. And it takes 60 breaths to really allow us to drop into the moment. So let's take another few together. So with a big deep inhale, open your arms wide. Drawing your breath all the way up, up, up to the crown of your head and just hold it, hold it for as long as feels good. Hold it and then whenever you're ready, ah, letting go. And just as you exhale, just feel that you're exhaling whatever you need to release. 
whatever you choose to release in this moment. Beautiful. Another big deep inhale. I'm drawing the energy up from the earth as you inhale, inhale, drawing that breath up. Feel that breath rising all the way up to the crown of your head. And then just hold it. And then whenever you're ready with a big sigh, ah, and just feel your shoulders relaxing. Feel your jaw relaxing, gently separating your teeth, relaxing your throat and your tongue, giving yourself permission to fully surrender, fully let go, to fully feel. Okay, one more deep inhale together. Inhale, drawing that breath up from the earth, up through your body, all the way up to the crown of your head. Holding your breath, holding, holding, and then whenever you're ready, Ah, letting go and just letting go on, on a deeper level than you even thought was possible, even more than the last breath. Allowing your eyes to feel heavy if they need to, your jaw to feel loose. And just let yourself sink into either the mat, the floor, the chair, wherever you are. And just, if you notice tension anywhere in your body, just invite in softness. Beautiful. With your eyes gently closed, we're going to really ground our energy here together. So just sending your energy out the base of your spine, out the soles of your feet, and send that energy deep, deep down into the heart of Mother Earth, Gaia. And just allow yourself to fully come home. When we feel that grounding, that connection with the earth, we just feel rooted. And when we feel rooted, it allows us to ascend and expand but we need to have that grounding so just sending your energy as though you're like diving deep down into the heart of the earth as though you're diving deep down into a pool just imagine yourself going but in this case we're going down through the soil and the dirt and the stones and the sand perhaps water and just diving deep deep down and you'll know the second you reach the earth because you'll just feel it's like oh i'm home oh feeling that connection, that intimate connection that you have with her, that that is your birthright to have that connection. And she celebrates it as you choose to do that. So as you're down in the heart of the earth, I, I invite you to see yourself in this, in this nest, almost like this womb and feel yourself curled up in this little nest and the temperature feels perfect for you. And you feel this energy of this nest the nest is weaved with little twigs. So you feel your connection to the trees whose roots go deep into the earth, whose branches reach up to the light. The trees that are filled with wisdom and nourishment and nurturing, just feeling your connection to the trees. And in that little nest, it's weaved with feathers. So you feel your connection to the air. And this new moon in Sagittarius is about, it's really, really about where in your life do you feel stifled? Do you feel that you don't have the freedom that you think that you should have? And this new moon is not really about making radically changes like leaving this or getting rid of that or it doesn't have to be major major changes to shift that sometimes it's shifting things in our own consciousness or it can be little changes but it's not about dramatic things I've got to leave this I've got to do that it's about going inwards and actually seeing where are you stifling from an inner standpoint where are you blocking your own energy so feeling that connection as these soft feathers weave through this nest and as the soil and the dirt are in the nest, feeling your connection to the earth, her four billion years of wisdom, that sustain, that stability that the earth offers. And then feeling connection as the sun has dried all of this together. So you feel that light and that warmth of the sun, the passion that the sun gives that sense of renewal. And then there might be little pebbles in that nest, soft. And you feel that the crystals, the rock, your connection to the mountains. And then you notice that this nest is floating on water. 
So you feel your connection to the water that gives us a sense of cleansing, purification. And what does the water do? The water goes with the flow. No matter, yes, there may be a stream of water and there's a rock in the middle of it. The water goes, okay, there's a block here, but I can flow around it. So as you're in this deep meditative space, in this sacred day of the new moon, I invite you to allow whatever needs to enter your consciousness in this moment that you feel is stifling. And maybe sometimes it's just ourselves and old beliefs and um, old stories we tell ourselves, lies, you know? How could you shift your consciousness around that? And feel this nest that you're laying in, held by the water, which allows that fluidity and allows us to cleanse and purify those old beliefs. And sometimes it just is little tweaks and shifts on the internal, and then our perception of the external shifts or people or things shift externally, but it doesn't have to be these major things that have to be done. So just feeling your connection with the elements, feeling your connection with the elementals, feeling your connection with the earth. And knowing that this is, the earth is here for you, here for all of us, every second of every day. So just feel yourself being held in this nest on the water. I'm going to invite you to take another deep inhale. Drawing your breath all the way up. And then whenever you're ready, ah, a big, deep exhale, just, just letting go even more. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to, now that we've already received our grounding from the earth, we're going to move our energy up from the earth, and we're going to draw it up the soles of our feet and move it all the way up our spine. So just feel that energy. And as you feel that rising up your spine, just straighten your spine so the energy can really flow. Feel it entering in the soles of your feet. Feel it moving up your legs. Feel it moving all the way down your hands, your fingertips moving up past your heart. Feel it moving all the way up to the crown of your head. And then when you feel that at the top of your head, feel this opening and feeling your connection to your higher self, to a higher level of consciousness. And again, just as much as your birthright to have a connection with the earth, it's just as much your birthright to have a connection with your higher self, with source, with universal consciousness. So just tapping in and connecting. And as we open sacred space together, we're just going to take a moment to really, really feel that connection. I know you all know and have that connection with your higher self because we all do, but sometimes it's important that we just like consciously plug in, consciously choose to commune with our higher selves, with the universe. And then as we've opened sacred space, let's just call in our guides. So I'm gonna invite you to take a moment to call in whatever guides, whomever guides you love to work with. I would first of all like to call in the directions. And I'm calling in the direction of the north, which is the element of water, which is in feng shui and in many different traditions, the different elements, directions represent different elements. But um, in feng shui, we talk about the north as being the motion. So it would be this yin time year that we're in now coming up to the winter solstice. And it's all about that water element and that cleansing and purifying. So I'm just calling in the direction of the north to be here with us. And next of all, calling in the direction of the east, of wood, where the sun rises, depending where in the world you are. But this new energy, the tree energy that grounded into the earth, that rooted energy, but also at the same time reaching up to the light. Calling in the direction of the south, which is fire, which is the light, the Mushiang hot time. So calling in the direction of the north, and then calling in the direction of the west, the, when this, where the sun sets, where we release, where we let go, um, we would look at this as the metal element. And then calling in the direction below, above, and our center. So just taking another deep inhale. And exhale. 
Beautiful. And calling in, I like to work with specific Irish goddesses, um, and I am calling in Breed Bridget, the Irish goddess of, of the fire of the sun, for her to bring that light and guide us through the darkness. I uh, invite in uh, the two of the Bannon, which are the, the mythical people from Ireland, um, the, the head of the fairy realm, calling in Maeve and Anya um, and Gronya and Danu, all Irish goddesses. And I also call in Kuan Yen. You see her right behind me, the goddess of unconditional love. And... Um, I call in our angels and I'd also like to call in our ancestors and a beautiful way to call in your ancestors is um, you invite them in the ancestors that would like to be here for the highest good that are from a heavenly realm and sometimes you can actually just call them in by and I'm going to invite you to do this yourself now but um, I am and of course Amanda Murphy Collins and I'm daughter of Linda Sophia Farthing Murphy, and I'm granddaughter of Josephine Farthing. And so if you can go further back than that, keep going further back. Great, great, great. And so just calling in the ancestors that you'd like here with us, our ancestors that have walked the path before us and always celebrate the moon and the, the times of the equinox and the solstice because they didn't have clocks or computers. It was all just done by being that connected to the cosmos, to the moon, to the earth. So just taking a moment, call in your ancestors, calling in your guides, your master guides. And I really recommend only calling in those that you know, those that you feel that you have that connection with. And ones that are you're ready to work with, they'll let you know. So just calling in whoever you'd love to be here, your angels, spirit guides, animal totems. Um, ascended masters, who, who, whomever it is that you feel really cool to work with. And then I'm going to invite you just to keep your eyes closed and just floating your hands up to your heart center. And together, we're just going to go on a gentle journey. So I invite you to see yourself on a path in a forest. And you notice that you feel comfortable here. You know this is exactly where you're meant to be. And as you're in this forest, you just keep putting one foot in front of the next, gently making your way through the forest. The temperature is perfectly comfortable for you. And I'm going to invite you to notice any smells in this forest, any specific sounds, perhaps a squirrel or a deer rustling through the leaves, perhaps the raven in the sky, an eagle, a hawk. Perhaps you hear the sound of a running stream, a waterfall. Maybe there's a gentle wind and it's blowing the trees. Notice how moist the air feels. Notice how you feel walking through this forest, knowing this is exactly where you're meant to be and just putting one foot in front of the next. You notice a light a little further ahead, so you make your way towards this light. And as you get there, you see a round wall with beautiful, shiny, what look like ancient stones. And you walk closer over, and when you make your way over, you can tell that this is an old well. And you look over the stone wall, and you notice steps down inside the well. Again, you feel clearly guided to make your way down into the well. So you climb over the wall and slowly make your way deep down into the well, putting one foot in front of the next, looking down at these beautiful rocks and seeing that they're shiny and knowing that the people have walked this pilgrimage before you. You keep making your way deeper down to the well. And you just notice there's a couple more steps. And when you get to the bottom of the well, see yourself in this room. Take a moment to look around and notice what is in this room. What are the colors or the lack of colors? 
furniture or not, artwork. Notice, is there anything that you recognize? Do you recognize this room or is it all new? So just, again, feeling safe and clear. This is exactly where you're meant to be. And just allowing yourself to explore around this room. As you make your way further into the room, you notice there's a door. And I'm going to invite you to put your hand on the handle and open the door and again, feel clearly guided to walk through. When you go inside the door, there is someone waiting there for you, a guide, perhaps an ancestor, perhaps an animal totem, perhaps somebody there, or maybe there's just space. So I'm gonna invite you to take a moment here to notice what is in this room as you enter it. And notice if there's guidance here for you. Or perhaps there's just silence. Not judging. Not forcing. Just allowing yourself to be the observer. Knowing and trusting you're exactly where you're meant to be in this moment. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. As we talked about already, noticing if there's guidance of where you are causing restrictions internally in, and notice if there's a message here for you. When you feel complete, I'm gonna invite you to thank whomever or whatever was in that space. I'm gonna invite you to turn around and go back through the door again and find yourself thanking your guide, finding yourself back into this room. Does the room look any different? Does it look brighter or darker or is there anything different about the room? Have a brief look around. And then we're going to make our way back over to the steps and slowly putting one foot in front of the next, seeing those beautiful, shiny, ancient rocks in this magical well, putting one foot in front of the next, taking deep inhales and exhales making your way all the way up the well and giving yourself permission to explore and ask yourself the question, what restriction inside of me am I willing to let die? Because this time of year, if you look around at the earth, look at the plants dying, you know, everything going inwards and it's, it's letting go. So as you keep making your way up, you've just got two more steps. And then you're going to make your way up over the wall of the well and back through the forest. And as you walk through the forest, you're noticing leaves in the air. And you can see as you look around that the trees are actually letting go of these leaves. And in front of your path, leaves keep falling. And then as you walk further along, this beautiful white feather lands right in front of your eyes straight down on the floor, on the forest bed. And if you feel guided, I'm gonna invite you to pick up that feather and take it with you, because that feather is a symbol of inner freedom, inner freedom from whatever kind of restriction or inner suffering or these jails that we manage to put ourselves in. I can only do this. I can only have this. I can only do this if this is in this. And it's just like, giving yourself full, full permission to let go of those restrictions and really finding your inner truth. So carrying on, making your way through the forest, smelling the smells of the forest and feeling all of that beautiful fresh air, feeling uplifted by being in the forest, 
and feeling even more clear than you ever have before. Staying really connected with your breath. And then you notice a light at the end of the forest. You make your way down over there. And you see the light and you know that this is the energy of this dark full new moon in Sagittarius. And feel the energy of the moon shine right into your heart, right into your soul. And feel the new moon energy melting away whatever you brought your consciousness now to that you have allowed yourself to believe it is restricting. What are you willing to let go of? What are you willing to let die? What lies or prison jail that you've put yourself in? Feel that moon energy shine into your heart, into your soul, at your throat, at your third eye. Feel it moving down through every cell of your being. And then placing your hands again at your heart center and giving deep, deep thanks to the new moon. Because you know that in this moment, you have truly, once and for all, decided to release whatever your consciousness brought that you were holding on to, that you were restricting. And I'm going to invite you to open your arms and feel this unbelievable sense of openness, of lightness, and of freedom. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. And then whenever you're ready, I'm going to invite you to open your beautiful, beautiful eyes. Thank you so much for going on this, this journey with me on this sacred day when we all get to come together. It's just pure unity consciousness with intention to do our inner work. And then when we do our inner work, it just radiates around the world. And that's what we need to really come into that place of inner peace, inner love, inner freedom. Because when we are that, we then have that within us. We have it in our homes. Then when it's in our homes, it expands out into our villages and then out into the country and then out around the world. And we know this is so needed. This is so, so needed at this time. So even us being here together, doing our inner work, willing to stand up and be the truth, it creates powerful, powerful ripple effects and change. So I would love for us just to do a, a chant together. And, um, and this is a beautiful chant that uh, Jennifer Briesman um, does. And she originally recorded it in um, a sacred temple. And so I would love at this sacred time for all of us to chant it together. And as all chants work, um, it's just a repetitive over and over again. It's not about how do I sound? Oh, I sound good or bad it's not about that it's just allowing this beautiful energy of your voice to cleanse and to heal and to send these beautiful intentions and sound vibrations and primordial sounds out around the world so just as we chant together we're chanting straight to source to each other in this unconditionally loving place i invite you to if you don't usually sing to let judgment go out the window and just just let yourself chant and it's basically returning returning to the mother of us all and you know that's what it, we've been doing coming home to ourselves coming home to the earth coming home to the divine feminine the divine masculine that we are so i'm going to invite you to join and i've got my trusty singing bowl which is attuned to the heart chakra so i'm just going to move it over here a little bit and i'm going to invite you to chant along with me and inside my bowl um i have sacred water from the wells by my house, the sacred waters right here. So together, so it's returning. <clears throat> returning. 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 Returning 
to the mother of us all. I'll do it one more time. Rita, Rita. a beautiful chant and I know how beautiful you all sounded. <laughs> so I'm going to invite you um, to do some rituals and the Sagittarius, the new moon in Sagittarius relates with certain physical parts of our body uh, being the liver, um, our tailbone, um, our hips and um, kind of the whole spine area. So I'm just going to first of all invite you to be really really nurturing with yourself and um, if there's anything you can do to nurture those areas of your body. Uh, for the liver, I love doing warm castor oil, get a natural castor oil and natural linen, organic linen, and put it right over your liver, have it nice and warm. It's just so soothing for the liver. Um, maybe the spine, get a massage, or I don't stretch a little bit, do a bit of yoga, but do something really nurturing for yourself. And especially at this time of year, you know, um, I think seasonal depression is a, a very common thing. And depending where you are in the world, like we're really going into the dark time of the year in Ireland. And I try to almost, because we've got an abundance of water, to do a salt bath daily. I get out in nature every day. And even with the kids, like as soon as there's any kind of sunlight, we are out into the forest, just out into nature, just outside. Um, so to really help yourself bringing in warm colors, wearing warmer colors, maybe you get this special light that, that is very helpful, but it really is a thing. So one, to really keep yourself in balance, self-care, self-care. And speaking of self-care, next Wednesday, I'm going to be doing um, a feng shui and um, ritual on really how to de-stress and be in joy over the holiday season. Um, so a ritual I'd love to invite you to do, I would really like for you to journal on this meditation that came up, maybe anything that came up for you when you're in the nest in the heart of the earth, or who it was that visited you with you, if anybody did when you went through the door at the base of the well. Um, anything that came up for you that came into your consciousness. And just to give you an example, I noticed even with myself, I put these restrictions on myself. Sometimes like, yeah, you're allowed to be at nature, but it can only be for 30 minutes. And it's like, why can it only be 30 minutes? Like, or, you know, I'll, with the kids, I'll spend hours, but you know, um, I, I just notice these restrictions that I put on myself. So I'm giving you an example of, well, you know, you have to work that amount, but let's say, for example, you're not feeling like it, like they're just your own, like, so where in your life are you putting your restrictions that are not necessary? They're just ones that you've created in your head. You're only allowed to do this if you've done that, you know? So I'm going to invite you to really explore that journal. Journaling is so powerful just the stream of consciousness put your pen to the paper and let whatever needs to come through come through and I know I talk a lot of time about journaling but it is so powerful to access our unconscious subconscious mind that runs 90% of the show and when we shine that light onto those blockages those places where we restrict ourselves that we tell ourselves unnecessary lies it's like poof we 
<laughs> they don't they don't hold power over us anymore they don't they don't get to restrict us and we get to expand so much more so i'm going to invite you to journal but any guidance at all what was that room like what was that experience what were those smells you know so go deep into journaling and then i'm going to invite you even though it is a dark new moon go outside and just allow your heart to connect with the energy of the, of the moon. And just like we did when we we're in the forest in our meditation, feel the moon shining down on our heart. Allow it to feel melting away whatever it needs to. And really feel that physical, even though you can't see it, feel the energy of the moon because it is there for you and it is shining down on you. Um, and then if you have anything you'd like to cleanse, uh, placing things under the new moon to crystals or just anything that you have that you feel you'd like to recharge, to, re to cleanse, put them out under the new moon. So I want to say thank you so much for joining. I am so grateful that you would spend your precious, precious time with me together, all of us. And um, of course, as I mentioned, next Wednesday, I'll be doing the, it's kind of like feng shui for de-stressing over Christmas and also some beautiful self-care practices and just how to um to be in your most present wonderful self throughout this take this through to the rest of the year and I will also be doing a winter solstice um gathering one of my my favorite um times on the wheel of our of our wheel the winter solstice so I'm sending unconditional love to everybody thank you so much beloveds for joining and um as you know I'm here on the new moon every month so be here or be square but I'm going to send you a heart and thank you so much for being here bye-bye <laughs>